each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Syracuse Hancock International Airport from the flight deck. Syracuse Hancock International is a medium-sized multi-use airport located on the northeast side of Syracuse, New York. It has associated Class Charlie airspace, and as always, pilots should review the requirements to operate within it prior to departing their home airport. The configuration consists of two intersecting runways labeled 1028 and 1533. Most general aviation facilities are located at the west end and on both sides of runway 1028. Both runways have full-length parallel taxiways. The traffic mix is roughly 50-50, general aviation and commercial scheduled air carriers. In addition, the 174th Air National Guard Squadron operates MQ-9 drones from the field. Several flight schools offer training from pre-solo to advanced ratings. There is also a robust medevac helicopter operation on the field. This mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability makes Syracuse an interesting place to fly and work. When arriving for the first time, pilots please note that runways 28 and 33, the approach ends, are in close proximity to each other. The tower frequently catches aircraft lining up for the wrong runway, unfortunately. One mitigation strategy might be to load an instrument approach or create a GPS waypoint aligned with your assigned runway. If you are unsure how to accomplish this, please refer to your navigator's user manual. Hotspot number one is located at the intersection of taxiways Alpha and Mike. Pilots assigned runway 28 taxi via Sierra Mike Alpha cross runway 33 or runway 33 taxi via Alpha Mike cross runway 28 have missed the turn at Mike and crossed an active runway. Having a complete understanding of your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short or crossing instructions before moving the aircraft is imperative. In addition, extra vigilance outside the aircraft and the scanning for surface markings and above ground signage will go a long way in mitigating this sort of error. Pilots, please note, the airport does have elevated runway guard lights on the field. However, they are only illuminated at night. One area of concern found at Syracuse and many other airports are ramp areas that have direct taxiway access to runway surfaces. At Syracuse, this situation is found at the large ramp area on the south side of the airport. Taxiway Juliet has direct access to runway 1028. While rare, aircraft have missed the right or left turn on taxiway Yankee, incurring runway 1028. If you are ever in doubt about an air traffic control instruction, a clearance, or even your own position on the airport, the easiest answer is always to ask the tower. They are there to help. As a final note, the weather in Syracuse during the winter can change rapidly. Lake effect snow as well as nor'easter storms make this area known for its heavy snowfall and very dynamic weather patterns. So be sure to check NOTAMs before departure and while en route for up-to-date airport and runway conditions. We hope this short video will help you make better decisions and along with the air traffic control tower, help ensure your flight is safe, efficient, and well-informed. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Syracuse Hancock International Airport. It's always better to know before you go.